Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, connect, and we grow. If you have used slicers in Excel, you realize that it offers a very elegant way to filter data, especially when you use pivot tables. In this short video, we are going to learn how to use the output of a slicer in your formulas. It makes it easier for you to create dynamic chart titles and so on. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So here's my sample data. It's basically sales for a shop. And my goal is to analyze this by customer segment. So to do that, I'm going to insert a pivot table. So I'll go to insert pivot table. Now because of what we want to do, it is important we add this to the data model. So you check this option to add to the data model and then you click OK. So once our pivot table is inserted, we go straight out to analyze sales, put this into values, and then we put our customer segment in rows. So here, we now get an analysis of segments and sales. Now, what we want to do is insert a slicer, a slicer on category. So here, I want to right click this field and then add as a slicer. So I have the category electronics, home office, and phone tablet. So if you know what slicers do, it allows you to slice or filter your pivot table report. We want to chart this. So I'm going to stand in the report and then insert a pivot chart at this point. I'll use the default column chart and I'll click OK. So I'm going to go through some formatting. So under the pivot chart analyze, I'll take off my field buttons. Okay, and then also take off my values here. Take off my grid lines to make it less noisy and then my legend. In this way, the user can focus on what matters. So here, I'm going to add data labels. So I have my labels here. If you like, you can press Ctrl 1 and then format this appropriately using the number option to a number separated by a comma. So what we want to achieve is this. When I select electronics, I want to show that I have selected electronics as the title of my chart. So when I do home office, I want this to show as well. So what we need to do is to get the output of this slicer somewhere in a cell so that we can use it in our formula. And to get the output of this slicer, we first need to know the name of the slicer. So I'll select the slicer, go to the slicer menu, and I see that the name is category. If you go to slicer settings, you can also see the name to use in formulas is also category. And that's what we are going to use. So I'll click OK. Now, because we put this in the data model, it allows us to use cube functions. So what we are going to do is to use one of the cube functions called cube rank member. So, so this function is what is going to help us harvest the output. So cube rank member, you bring in your quotation mark and it pulls up the data model. So I'll close this reference and then I'll bring a comma. Next up is the set expression. So the set expression basically is the slicer name. So here, when I do slicer, I have slicer underscore category. It is important you know the name so that if you have many slicers, you know what you are choosing. So this slicer dot category, and then I'll bring a comma and put in the rank. So the rank is based on the item that is selected. If you put in one, it returns the first item that is selected. If nothing is selected, it returns all, and it will be useful for this purpose. So we'll put in one, and then ignore the option for caption, which is an optional argument. So basically, cube rank member, this workbook data model in quotes, the slicer name, and then one for rank. So now when I do this, I get home office. When I select electronics, it comes in here, and then I have something like that. So let's create a dynamic header for our chart title. So let's put in total sales 4. So we expect that total sales 4 would connect to phone tablets and give us a dynamic header. So let's 
join these two so I'm going to do equal to this bring my ampersand to join and then put in a space between the two bring an ampersand again and then take this output okay so what we are going to get now is if I select any output I get this dynamic header so let's put it as our chat title so just select the chat placeholder for the title and then I will just link it to the cell and then I have something like this so in this case if I select I'm able to see the particular category I have selected of course the fact that this output in a cell means you can use it for any other calculations you want please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send add to this whatsapp number we we'll send our short videos directly to you twice a week all our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Find the Skills Up. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos, or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.